Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk about resume. It's going to be one of our installments of Resume Fix. And in particular here, I want you to be able to show value, your value to a prospective employer by your resume. Okay? Now, I have had the opportunity to help people draw up a resume, fix them, revise them, tailor them to a particular uh, job that they're looking for, and also I've read lots of them in my years and years of interviewing people for jobs in a variety of different companies and different situations. So the first thing you want to do, if, if you have not already created this as you go along, sit down and make a list of your accomplishments, the duties that you've had in each position, either volunteer or paid position. You want to focus on paid first, but if you have gaps and you have some volunteer experience that might help you, then include that. So you want, on a, not on your resume, but make a list of your accomplishments, your job duties, promotions that you had, milestones in a particular project or with a particular group or employer and your general accomplishments. List all that out, okay? It doesn't have to be fancy, just get it down so that you have it all in one place. And you're gonna do this for each different employer, okay? So you've got your list done of the information. Now, it's gonna be different for each person, but now look at your accomplishments, your pr and you have them. You might not think you do, you have them. If you have been somewhere for any period of time, what when we're talking about accomplishments, it doesn't mean getting a trophy or an award or a raise or anything. When were you thanked? And hopefully some something in here clicks. When were you thanked? Did you take a process and modify it? Did you improve it? Did you help someone else in their job, either officially or unofficially? Do you have any measurable goals? Did you have an increase in sales? Did you have an increase in customers or clients? Did you uh, improve retention of clients? Did you help streamline any processes? Did you take something that used to be four steps and make it now into two steps? Did you help people understand a program or a system and save time in a process? Did you replace two meetings with one meeting? Did you create some type of a form or memo or report or some type of document that people can add to without having to go one at a time and, and make a group project? Think about those types. Those are your milestones. Those are your accomplishments, okay? Now, how did you go about doing those different things? What did you, did you get cooperation? Did you go outside and get other information on methods? Were you a part of another group, a service group, a volunteer organization, some, um, some industry group, either for your company or on your own, or a private situation? Um, was it a volunteer thing through your church or synagogue? Were you helping out with one of your kids' groups, a service group, or Boy Scouts or girls? Did you learn some skill or adapt some um, pattern or practice or trait or idea and bring it into your job? You have to think outside the box when you're going on to these situations. People don't know just from meeting you or even before that, looking at a piece of paper and you putting down different milestones or vague descriptions of what you did in a job. They are looking for some type of value that you have that you can only demonstrate on your resume by an accomplishment, a milestone, or something like that. But they're, that's what they're looking for. And they are looking for it not to see how well you did at Acme Company, but they are looking for someone who can make a difference in their company, whether they're just starting out or it's an expansion or it's a long time place. And what's more than that, this is the thing that's going to give you the edge if there is no posted position 
or they're not looking at the present time. Because you are going to give them something that's so compelling that they're going to say, this person has this value. We need that person with us. We don't want someone else to take advantage of this person, in particular one of our competitors. We can, this person, we want to see what they can do. They're, you're going to be somebody they're going to be willing to take a chance on and to find a place for you because you show initiative. You show that you can make a difference. You show that you care. So take the list. Again, all of your just random things, just put them all down because at when you're first listing them, you're not going to be thinking the way the employer is thinking. You're going to be just saying, what did I do? I have to try to explain in 20 words or less what I did with this company. Just put everything down because you can always take away. Then look at those different things that you did and think about it for a little bit. You might have to put it down and come back to it in a couple of days because once you start the process, you're going to have more information. The best thing after you do this, the next thing is for your next position, keep track as you go. If somebody gives you an attaboy or a girl, write it down. You get a good note from somebody, keep a copy of it. You get an email where someone congratulates you on really blowing the top off of the sales projections, keep a copy of that. You get a good review, keep a copy of that and keep track. That way when you go through this process again, either with your current employer to get a promotion or a raise or to move outside, if your work, you've done your own work for you. So look at all of these items and then look through and put the how. Write it down. How did you do this? How did you help them? How did you, um, you know, how did you contribute? And what was it that you, what was your secret sauce that helped you to make these contributions? All right. Then you want to carry that forward. When you go to your resume, you want to now describe what you did for the different paid or unpaid positions. What value did you give to that company? What did you do? And I think you're going to see a big difference. I think you're going to see yourself in a new light. People don't appreciate themselves like they should. You don't appreciate yourself the way you should. And you are probably a wonderful worker and you've got your head down and you're just doing one thing to the next. And you don't really see the big picture and how incremental little steps that you are taking are really making a difference. So pat yourself on the back, make that list, show your value, and fix your resume. You know someone who's struggling um, or has a resume or you have looked at their resume and you're like, ah, this is, you know, I know this person, it's a dynamic person or I just want to help them but I'm not sure how. Show them this video. Let them go off and do it on their own or you help them with it. And I bet you can come up with something really great that reflects your value because that's what you are. That's what makes you you and you should celebrate it and you should use that to find that great position that you want. I'll see you again next time. Subscribe to our channel, please, for the latest updates. It really helps us a lot. Check around on the playlist. If there's something in the playlist or in one of these videos that makes you have a question, send in a comment and we'll do probably do another video on it. I'm Michelle and I'll see you next time.